Simmons and my main man. Been looking forward to this since the wall, man. You know what I'm saying? Haven't been on the call with my guy, Pasta. Nah. nah. It's good, bro. It's good to see you. We're brother. back in one of our favorite events, Brandon Ingram, MLK Showcase. Yes, sir. Kent's them MLK class, I'm sorry. Coming into this historic gym that Brandon Ingram played at Kenston High School. Mm -hmm. Got his jerseys out there for sale. Pelicans t-shirts. The whole nine. Great event, man. First class. Absolutely. We got two good teams going at it here. First fight, obviously led by Mason and Isaac Doby, the young brothers. And then, obviously, Southern Nash and Jordan Vick. Jordan, I mean, Simmons. Jordan's a guy that you know very well. What is he going to bring to the table here that's going to change this game? Uh-oh. Uptown Earl. I think, I think it's his energy and effort. But from what Jordan was telling me, TJ Tabram is starting to turn the corner. And because of that now, Southern Nash is a legitimate threat yep. um, in, in, in the 2A East. Like, they were able to get a big win against Rocky Mount. They haven't been uh, earlier this week. They haven't been Rocky Mount in a long time. Yep. And <clears throat> we're seeing them step up. You got to worry about that, though. Yes, with sir. With the first fight, the shooting of the Doby brothers. That was Mason right there. Here comes Isaac with it up 3-2. He the might one stop and we, pop for Trey. Yeah. The and one the thing we know about early. the Doobie brothers is, and first flight, they letting it fly. Early, early, first crazy. flight, letting it go. Nigel Kiger, and what a start for first flight. Look at the face of Coach Chad. He's locked It's in. crazy. People know first flight so much in this gym. It's a home game in the K. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. This is what this event's all about. And first flight with the Doobie brothers are gonna emerge and become a real threat, not just a gimmick, a real threat in North Carolina. Here's Isaac with it, got cut off in his tracks. They're gonna work it around. Here's Mason, launches from deep. It's contested, no good. Rebound battle. They got some size underneath too, he stepped out. And it looked like Hawk kept that possession alive with his the, activity the underneath. The thing you seven. love about the Doobie Brothers is they're always shot ready. Yep. Also, you can't forget our guy, 55 Big Cooper Hawk, does his thing as, one of the, as the man in the middle. Yep. Wow. Doobie, again, no. They're gonna get him up. Here comes Jordan Vick getting his first real touch of the game. See what he does. He'll drive by baseline, goes up, reverse lay, no. A lot of traffic underneath, couldn't get the finish. Gets a steal right back though. Strong drive, takes the bump, That's athletic. no. It is. And ball, ball is loose, and it's secured now by first flight, and they're gonna bring it up, up 6-2. The reason why I was so excited to have a chance to do this game is because you knew with both teams, the energy, like it's fireworks. Mm -hmm. First flight, they move the ball, they, sh they, they shoot threes, they play at a fast pace. And Southern Nash with Jordan and TJ Tabram are really good as well. Love, uh, love to play fast pace. Definitely, and this is the kind of environment that Vic is gonna thrive in. Deep three, up and good. Big shot right there from Zy White. Absolutely. So what you wanna see, what you, the thing to look for with Southern Nash, oh, wow. that's tough. The thing to look for with Southern Nash is Southern Nash had Jackson Vick. Jackson Vick was a big part, was a very big part of their of their team and their offense. Ooh. But Jackson Vick is now at NC State as the number one defensive back in the in, class. In the, in the recruiting class, yes. Yes. So he's getting ready for spring brawl and brothers trying to lead the charge here, obviously without him. And it looks like that knocked the scoreboard plug out. So that's gonna get addressed while we sit here and, and kind of get it sorted out. Yeah, that's tough. Um, they got to look at the scoreboard. You can't start the game yeah, that's what they're doing with, right the, now. with the clock out. So what we want to do is you want to come back when the, tef uh, when the scoreboard comes back on? No, we're good. We're I, think, good? I think it's going to be fixed right now because while we're here, we might as well preview some of the games on the horizon. Go ahead. We got Henderson Collegiate taking on Liberty Heights. George Marshall willing to play anybody, anywhere. Liberty Heights is a premier team in North Carolina trying to win a Hoop State Championship, their first in program history. That's going to be a good one. Then after that, uh, what do we have after that? That's it. That TBS. TBS, Winston-Salem Christian. I got your back, baby. A battle of the 336. Always, we got to pick each other up when we need it. And then at 730, I mean, Moravian already hit 31 threes this morning in their win. They won 126 to 55. I believe it. Jackson Holt hit nine, had 29. And they're coming in to play their second ga game of the day before heading down to play OTE on Monday. So, Moravian's coming schedule. in. They're playing Trinity Academy. Trinity Academy boat raced Wayne Country Day earlier this week. <laughs> they got after them no, yeah, on the I heard, road. I heard, I so, heard, I heard the grapevine. Yeah, so, you know, they're, they're definitely riding high coming into that, and then the nightcap, I don't even know if we need to even tell y'all what it is. So I don't even, like, y'all should know. Yeah, man, it's Farm Bill Kinston beat. <laughs> it's crazy, I know Jack uh, told me that Kinston took a loss earlier this week, I didn't see it. They lost to Eastern Wayne. Wow. First loss of the year, so I think they're sitting at seven and one right now. 
Um, prayers to the to the Brian Hanks show banner that got knocked off its place. We hope it gets not put back in. Right. Uh, but uh, the game the game goes on. The show goes on, everybody. And here is no Southern Nash with the basketball. They're going to work around. Here's White with it. Already hit one from almost right there. Uh, I, I like this matchup for Jordan Vick. Yep. I like this matchup here for him. I don't think he needed the ball screen on that one to get that switch. Drive, pull up in the middle of the floor, up, no good. Rebound Hawk, he elevated for that one. Here comes Mason Doby. And the thing about Southern Nash is they have to understand they have to guard as soon as first flight get the rebound because they're not stopping. This is first flight all day long attacking. So the biggest key is can you get back and have a set and play with a set defense? Doby has had one of the better seasons of every of any freshman in the state of North Carolina as Vic with the nice razzle dazzle on the take there to get it back within one. Got a great burst, quick, able to get to the glass. But the thing of it is in this game, man, um, is can you get back and get set? Like until you actually see a first flight game live, you don't understand the pace that they play offensively. And Coach Chad is one of the best signal callers we got, baby. 1,000%. And here it is. It is Isaac with it. He'll give it up. He'll get it right back with Vic guarding him. Probably the matchup to watch. Two teams leading scores. Isaac working, going all the way. Looks like someone lost, so something's on the ground. I don't know what it is, but looks like Southern Nash got the stop there. Triple, up, no good. We love to see the confidence from um, from TJ Tabor. Yep. Like he's getting his feet set. He's ready. You can't leave guys like that wide open. His first flight, baby. Corner three, no. Rebound, battle Ooh, Off the four. kneecap. Yeah, it's going to stay with first flight. And I was saying, Mason Doby has had as good of a freshman season as you could ask for. Uh, absolutely. And, and he's a kid that will continue to emerge. Kind of that slated as that next. I, I'm really four. frustrated right now with the Soul Train line that keeps coming down the sideline, man. I'm really frustrated at what's going on. They're, they got Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Yo, just for Chick-fil-A sandwiches, we're trying to see some people hoop, man. I don't understand it. Oh, couldn't catch here comes Vic. Uh oh. Jordan Vic. Wake up. Oh, he oh. Laid it in. I thought he was gonna punch one for Simmons. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go off too, but he elevates off one, lays it in, and Southern Nash has a lead. So that's the thing that you have to look at here. A quick little ticky tag foul with Jordan. Mm -hmm. Gotta be smart. Mm -hmm. Guarding guarding that on the floor, just slide your feet. No need to rush. Yep, you got to understand your importance to your team if you stand on the floor. Because now you don't want to be in a situation where you get another quick one here. And, and against floor. first flight, it's tough just with the way they play. Yeah, because they're going to, you know, if you want to beat first flight, you got to outscore them. Yeah. And that goes for any team, but especially, especially with this one with the volume of shots that they're going to get from behind the arc. Nice little cut. Great call. Kobe got it. Great call. Coach Chad running the show. Absolutely. Here's Vic looking to create some offense. He'll attack. A lot of help closing in on him. They're going to work it around. Southern Nash trying to get back into their stuff here. Good defense by number 30, Kendrick Pierce. Mm -hmm. Doing a great job sliding his feet, being really physical. Thought about the pull-up, no. Pass there in a, in a tough spot. Look at first flights. They're so pursuit. physical. Step back, TJ. No good. Good rebound, rebound by number four, Absolutely. Trey Mitchell. Rebound, put back. That was solid. Absolutely. Southern Nash kind of looks balanced, Miles. They do, and I think the part. I think the thing is, it looks like guys are just buying into doing what they got to do to help the team, doing the little things, like you said, playing physical, getting on that glass. And here comes Tabor in and out. Oh, all straight the way. to the cup, leg. Nine drive, thirteen ten to count. Liberty Heights walking into the building. They got a big one coming up versus Henderson Collegiate. Demery we got on big cool grays. That's business. <laughs> Here's first flight, driving. That's gotta be a block, or charge, excuse me. Vic took the punishment there. Yeah, that looked, that looked, that looked like that was a lot of contact. Like, he might need a break on that one. <laughs> this is a 2 5 two sentence. he's all good. They're gonna keep him in, gave his coach a little nod. Yeah, I'm good. Two forty-two remaining. Always good to see Big Ezra blinding At us with his with his bling. Absolutely, specimen. Specimen. You'll, they'll see it here today. <laughs> That's all we can say have, about have, it. Have a have a backboard on hand, ready to roll, just in case. Mm -hmm. Ref having a conversation with Vic. I think he's just telling him to make sure his jersey's tucked in. 
Mama Vic, talking to him, letting him be known. Make sure her baby straight. <laughs> okay. Tuck your jersey in, too. Yeah. <laughs> Good pass. Got to push and look to attack. Yep, here's Vic in the middle. Kind of retreats here. Going to purvey the scene. They got two guys on him. Oh, that's too much space. Vic for three. No, left it short. And here's a, a reinsertion into the lineup. Ian Crumpler missed good guys versus cancer with a foot injury, and he's starting to come back. He's a key piece for them, a three-year starter at point guard for first flight. Didn't get the start today, but having him back in the lineup helps Chad a lot. No, absolutely. Now that I see him, looks very familiar. Um, I think he's going to be able to get into this game and give them another threat, mm -hmm. whether that's knocking out open shots or getting into the gap. Because right now, honestly and truly, I think the pace of first flight has Southern Nash a little tired. Absolutely. Here is Southern Nash, up 13-10. Got to like the way they've started here. Hanging with that barrage of first flight, two and change to go. Here's Table. Also number 23, Landon Baker, who jazzed the basketball right now. Mm -hmm. Superstar baseball player for Southern Nash. Athlete. Jacked. Yeah, I was going to say. He looks like he's throwing 90 right now. Absolutely. Jacked. Kick out, working it around. Love the ball moving in the first flight. Yep. Oh, that should have been a steal right there by Kahari Cottle. See if first flight can get something on this possession. Straight line drive, kick out, triple. It is up. It is no good. Rebound underneath. Working for it. Kept it inbound somehow. Good hustle. Another kick out, kind of a weird pass. Here's Crumpler with it. Extra pass. You corner love triple. the ball movement. Up and good. Coach Chet. Moving the ball. Kiger with his second triple of the game. The thing of it is, can you guard TJ right here? Transition pulls up. That's confident. That's a basket. That's you confident. You kind of saw that with him coming up, man. He had he had a lot of space. Got to stop him from being able to get the two feet. Yep. And Vic is at the table, getting ready to check back in. Turnover there. Crumple lost. Got to throw the handle. bounce pass. Great break. Great break by Southern Nash. Layup number three. Leo Jones. I think we got a great game going on no, right we now. Do. Miles. The, the two teams are going back and forth. We got some some firepower getting ready to check back in at respective table. And, uh, yeah, no, you're, you're completely right. Another three up, Kiger. Can he get it? No. Got a funny release, but he's got, he doesn't he's, lack for confidence. Not at all. Oh, great pass. Oh, he probably should have just gone up with that, but you know first flight's going to give up a good two for a good three look. Crumpler thought about it. Gives it up in the corner. Triple up. No good. That one rattled out. Rebound secured by Southern Nash. 27 seconds to go. Definitely. 17-13. If I'm Southern Nash right now, I'm saying, yo, let's relax. Let's get one shot. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Get that extended break for Vic. Get him through the quarter. Make sure he's fresh coming back in to carry you Absolutely. for the rest of the half. Okay, they're going double ball screen. TJ, oh, he backing it up. Okay, okay they're going to go to the, the they'll go to Landon. Jump hook. Got oh, it. wow. Nice little finish. Kyrie English. You love Landon. To see it. For Southern Nash, they're up 19 13 <laughs> as the heat is no good. Wow. A great team quarter. Everybody getting involved for Southern Nash. In this. Absolutely, man. Like, with the way the game started, like, to me, just seeing first flight play, it was very scary because we saw that first flight had a home crowd. Mm -hmm. Like, it seemed like we was we was on the coast, baby. Uh -huh. Because the uh, three-pointer went up, the, everybody in the crowd was whoop. They the was Kingston behind first flight. Was like, whoop. Yes, the, at the atmosphere was crazy. Jordan Vick and, and uh, TJ Tabor did a good job of just playing good offense, getting to the paint, responding, and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anyway, 19-13 the count. See my dog right Listen, we got, a, we got a special guest approaching the booth right now. Yeah. World famous five, <laughs> Liberty <laughs> Junior. He's right here. You'll see him coming up next as they take on Henderson Collegiate. 19-13 the count. For first flight, they just got to kind of continue plugging away and, and hope that these shots fall. It's, that's kind of the system that they run and trust. Yeah, man. Like, think about first flight is nothing was wrong with the offense they ran. To me, they was doing a good job. Moving the ball around, playing hard, playing physical. Southern Nash just responded. Mm -hmm. Inbound here. Isaac Doby gives it to his little brother. Here comes Mason Doby. There we go. We got a great matchup yeah. out top. Two of the best guards in North Carolina, best young guards in North Carolina. Doby going to drive. Goes up, hangs in the air, blocked away. Rebound underneath, got his own He's miss. He's so put it in. physical with his body. He's yep. He's got a great frame for a lead guard as a freshman. The thing I love, his primary move 
Oh, his primary move is he does a good job ripping the basketball. Good hustle. He does back. such a good job ripping in front mm -hmm. that that's he's able to always get the angle and go up. Without a doubt. Inbound here for first flight. Looks like it's Van Lugan. Get it into Mason. Mason drives up foul. That's on Vic. That's two. Second foul, Jordan. So what Jordan got to understand about this one is 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 with, with Doobie, it's about keeping his chest in front mm -hmm. because Doobie is just catching and ripping, and Jordan's trusting his athleticism because he know he can block the shot every time, but he's going to have to just keep his chest in front, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, because then you're giving the referee an opportunity to call a foul, which he just did. First free throw for Doobie, no good. But the skill that Doobie has to read, yeah, to read when he catches the ball and consistently get the ball in front and shows in front, to me that's one of the things that makes him very elite at a young age. Mm -hmm. Next one is good. He splits the two at the line, and first flight is back within a possession. 19-16 the count. See what Southern Nash does here. Ball is in the hands of Copeland. Copeland gives it up to Zy White. Already hit a three. Now it's Vic with it out high. He'll go around the screen. Little hesitation move, hangs in the air, draws a foul. Jordan Vic's gonna go to the line. Doing a good job of getting into the gaps. Playing off two feet. I think the thing he's going to have to look at is just always making sure he knows where the placement is because in his first flight, they do a good job rotating, and you don't want to get caught in the air having to make a decision against first flight. Yeah, because and, and it's pretty clear that first flight is sending help his way, really keying in on him. And now, you know, Jordan is a sophomore. He's used to dealing with that, I'm sure, at this point. Absolutely. So it's just a matter of him navigating it and seeing if he could keep yep. his team in front. That's the thing. Got to hold him accountable. Got to make sure he's making the right decision because at the end of the day, by him being one of the uh, one of the nation's best mm -hmm. and one of the state's best, you got to execute, baby. Yep. So he splits as well. It's a four-point game. Isaac to Mason. Back to Isaac. You better get a hand up. I say he might let that thing fly. Here's Isaac with it. Run Mason around, he catches, gives it down low to Hawk. Hawk, one dribble, sees what he's got, turns it over. That was good defense. Cooper got to go up with it. He was a little indecisive on that one. That's, that's a that's great charge, though. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a tough call. That's a tough one. I thought he was, I, like he was set in December, brother. It's yeah. January. Yeah. Coach Chad, I ain't seen him get that emotional in a minute. Coach Chad is irate. Yep. Yeah, because he's not the type to freak out over a call yeah. at all. And he, I feel him, though. I do, too. <laughs> Coach Chad upset about that thing. I get it. Free throw. No good. Ball doesn't lie, I guess. Copeland. There's one more. All the young boys sitting under the basket right now. Mm -hmm. We got a sub. TJ Tabram coming back into the ball game for Southern Nash. Yep. Southern Nash, it's, it's crazy, man. Southern, now seeing this Southern Nash team, they're starting to grow on me. I saw them play earlier this year, but I didn't see all this depth. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot. I saw the Did they not team. have football guys back, or they did? Nah, according to Jordan, that this is the team that they had. Mm -hmm. They just, they, they did a great zone right now. Defensively, they look good. Mm -hmm. They're moving. Yeah, like I said, they pitch it ahead. Get on the rim. Jordan Vick, double clutch. Oh. No, couldn't get it. Rebound secured, Doby not secured, jump ball is the call. I think it's going Southern Nash's way. I think the biggest thing we're seeing, that I've seen at least, this is my first time watching Southern Nash, is just the, the overall motor of the team. Is that their, Absolutely. Their pursuit of the basketball has been really, really good to see. And they're just winning a lot of those battles. We'll throw it up to Vic, takes the bump, and one, Jordan Vic. Yeah. And so what you want to see in this situation of it is, like you said, they have a team full of athletes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can see that. They play multiple sports. That's why they're so gritty. They're so scrappy. But what you what we want to see now, Jordan is showing us his athleticism. He's doing a good job of just being a super athlete. Let's let this, let's let it slow down. Let's read the floor. You know what I'm saying? And, and let's, get, let's get that in the half court as well. Here comes Mason Doby. You had to stop the ball or Doby's pulling up. <laughs> Tell you now. Play for me any day of the week, baby. Mm -hmm. Always a threat. Kick out, Doby for three. Told he him. said it. Oh, missed it short. Rebound, Vic. Here he comes. Jordan Vic trying to push the ball. So you got to be smart right there. There's no need to try to split that right there, but he did a good job stopping. Comes back, gets the basketball. Yep, there's Baker. Sending a screen for Vic. He'll stop and pop for three. That looked good from the moment he set his feet, Simmons. Getting Look. warm. <laughs> the young fella's getting warm. He certainly is. And it's an 11-point lead for Southern Nash. They got to feel good about what they're doing at both ends of the floor right now. Mama Vic letting first flight know her baby is getting warm. <laughs> Isaac, or actually that's Mason driving, draws the foul. He'll go to the line. 
The thing with this first fight team, though, and we've seen it before, no lead is too big. With the way that they can shoot the ball, the way that they can get hot, you got to stay on that gas every single moment because they'll let you slip. We'll see oh, no, nah, you preach. You, Pastor, you are preaching right now. Yeah. Like, and you can't sleep with, with first flight, bro. Because the crazy part of it is, like, Southern Nash is showing a great job responding in their team speed to be, be able to get four bodies in the help. It's helping them with the lead, but don't get it twisted. First flight, the sets they're running, they're running good sets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're getting, those are good play calls that uh, Coach Chad is getting. Yep. Dobie misses is the second. second chance. They're looking for three ball. Check him out. Wow. Oh, he couldn't get it. Rebound battle. Who's got it? Jordan Vick does, and here he it's comes. It's scary in transition. Vick. Change of direction. Get to the 10. Oh. Ooh, he tried to spit that lane like I read. He definitely did. Enough help was there. That was almost a backcourt. Three-pointer launched up, no good. Oh, you gotta have that rebound. Cause Dope. that's a layup, folks. Shitty bang. Oh, ooh, couldn't get it. Right back to him. Uh-oh. Here comes Vic. Down the lane, Jordan Vic lays it in. 29-17, five and change to go. He's oh. exhausted. Southern Nash has athlete, like literally on defense, they look like football players. Mm -hmm. They got a, a, a troop of DBs out there. Vic for three. Yes. He is on fire. He is putting on a performance here in Kinston. Jordan Vick, welcome to your Hoop State moment, my friend, 32-17. I love what I'm seeing, number one. He looks amazing out there, Miles. <laughs> Vick looks amazing. I mean, Southern, I think at the end of the day, the speed of Southern Nash, like, the athletes that they possess, like your Miles, mm -hmm. you already know you my encyclopedia when it comes to NC basketball, mm -hmm. current news, mm -hmm. breaking down the state. They look tough right now. They do, and they look like a team that like, and you, we've talked about this a lot. Having a team that knows what they are and embraces what they are is a big deal. You can have as much talent in the world, but if you don't have an identity, you're not gonna go that far. You know, they got a, a lead guy in Jordan, some complimentary pieces around them, but they know what they are, and that's why they're up by 15 right now against first foot. Nah, absolutely, man, absolutely. And I think you can say the identity of the team is defense. Mm -hmm. The defense, the speed they showing, I came front. Like, they, they look really good right now. Mm -hmm. On the low, the black and purple 13s is growing on Simmons. <laughs> right now, they look all right right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look all right. Now, I can't pay the 200 for those. You feel me? Cause like nah. But, but the discount 170, 160. Yes. If it's, I catch them for the, there. if I catch them for the 160, they swipe. They have for a chance. Real. They have a chance. Yeah. A chance for what you might ask? Greatness. Yes. Uh, 32, 17 to count. Jordan Vick getting a break right now, and TJ, another great job mm -hmm. seeing the play rip over the top. That's quickness. It is. Oh my gosh. They are getting after it. 34, 17. Doubling up first flight here. And just that activity defensively. Doby for three, they need it. And one. Draws the foul. Listen, you cannot teach being shot ready, bro. You either have it or you don't. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I love about the young fella is he can get his shot off. He's ready to shoot at all times, bro. And that's why he's at the free throw line right now. You can attempt for three of them things. Yeah, the, the, the motion from catch to release is all one, and it's quick. His feet are always ready, and he drew the foul there because, you know, he was able to get that thing off quick and, and drew a, a, a bad closeout. But hits the first. Second is up. It is also good. And now Brothers coming back in. And first flight is going to have to try to spark a run here if they want to stay in this game here before the half. But we'll see what they're able to cook up. One more free throw to get the deficit down to 14. It is up, and it is good. And here comes Southern Nash. They also get a chance to sit Jordan up by 14. He's got two fouls and make sure he stays fresh for when they need it. And first flight just switched his zone. And I think coach is telling them to relax. Let's kind of move the ball. No need to rush. But they want to get a three up. Then that was kind of a tough shot. It was. Landon, wow. Yeah, was what saying. a save. <laughs> he threw that, threw that to, Green, to Snow Hill. Oh, here's Isaac. A little hesitation on that baseline. One more. Cannot work it out. Mason from the bucket. It is up. It is good. And they're back within 11. First flight never wavered. They stuck to their stuff, and now they're back within 11, looking for another stop. 3:40. They're not go. going nowhere, bro. Nope. 
So if you're Southern Nash right now, you got to be smart and just move the ball out top. Yep, and they put you know who back in the game right here. Shot up, no good. CJ misses that turnaround. I think both of those possessions were just too fast. Yep. Hawk Ooh. couldn't catch it. Got to be careful. Got to score a basket here. What in the world just happened, Miles? I, I'm not really sure. I was trying to call it, but I didn't even know what to I say. couldn't even call that move out. I'm, yo. That was a, I, it was I, like he passed to himself and like, dropped it. It's like he left his keys on the counter and then grabbed them. <laughs> right. Here's eyes. That's tough. A little hop step, draws a foul. No, that's a tough call, Mr. Brown. It, was, it, looked like, it looked like Landon got ball. Landon has the name and look of a high major baseball player. So, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Landon, like he played catcher for the Cincinnati Reds <laughs> right now. Literally, he's got he's got forearms for days. Absolutely, he's going y'all. Yeah. Four fifty <laughs> at least, at least wooden bat at the high school level doesn't matter. A ten point game, and the Dobie brothers narrow the deficit. Mm -hmm. On the low miles aside in here for Red. It's been all right since about one thirty, man. I heard the hospitality rooms booming too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a band. They got uh, they got kings back this side. And you don't have to pay six dollars for the lemonade. Nah, all right, that's it's, good. Side. Thirty four twenty five to count. Someone told me that a large lemonade from Kings was six dollars. No, nah, it was me. It was me, and I and I drove right out the line. I was like, hold on. So you telling me it come in a two liter joint? She was like, nah, the cup. Like it, it, because of the pandemic, we're raising the price. Man, I'm out. Six dollars for that's, a lemonade. That's outrageous. That's crazy. Good use of the triple threat and the step. Good play. Down the hole. Lays it in. Vic almost avoided a third foul there. Yeah, that was that would have been real scary if he got that third foul. What a response from first flight. Back on a 10-0 run. Back within seven. Here's Vic. That's a pull up. Oh. I said they got over there just Hands in time. ready. And here is Southern Nash trying to get out of this drive spell. Landon shot up no. I think he expected more contact than he got. And a foul is called. And it'll be first flight ball. Landon, irate. Mm -hmm. But really, Southern Nash kind of shot themselves in the foot. Like, they jumped on him, made that run, and then just like the possessions mixed with the substitution kind of put them in the situation. The thing about first flight is, a, they're going to always create shots. B, they're going to make shots. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, foul's not really an issue right now for first flight, but uh, first flight will be shooting free throws. The next personal foul still 2:20 to go in the half. Actually, no. I guess they're they're saying that they're in the one and one right now. So it is seven. And it looks like it's Casey Smith at the line for the one and one. I ain't even gonna count. That's the, that's the elite level sweet T they got in the back. <laughs> it's a tough miss. Front end miss you don't wanna have. Jump ball to call. And they won that possession back. It's staying with first foot. You, you love you love the uh Kendrick Pierce, man. You, you, oh, you like, like glue guy. Yeah. Glue guy. Can, can a jack of all trades on the high school level. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a travel. Doby. Avoided, avoided getting called for it and mm -hmm. laid it in. They don't walk. They sell right back in this game. 34-29. Right there. Here's Vic from deep. No good. Rebound underneath. Layup. That is good. That was a nice finish right there from Trey Mitchell. Trey Mitchell with a rebound in the basket. Here's Mason. Gives it up to Isaac. Isaac thinking about it. Gives it to Cooper Hawk. Hawk in the middle. He's dunking drive. that. Oh, block oh that's a behind. big time block. From across the court. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's a tough call. It's crazy because I looked at the ref on the baseline. Ref on the baseline said block, and his face said it all. His face said it all. Yeah. Tough call. That is. Free throw good for Hawk. Cooper Hawk, solid, solid big. Just plays first his light. role. Just plays his role. No frills game. Just gonna get it done. Try to rebound, be a body. You know what? You know what it is, bro. Right. There's nothing like a big that can make free throws, though. Yeah. No. Like, just a big being able to make free throws changes a lot for yeah. you. Dog. You know he's gonna like, be able to hit three for out real, of four for real. Yeah. Yes, bro. Especially at the end of games, cause you can throw it to your big and he goes to the free throw line to make the throws. Is good. Mm -hmm. The zone has the zone has has fixed Southern Nash because now Southern Nash is jacking shots. And nice. they haven't been making them. So that spin move in the lane was good, but he couldn't get the finish. Ball's going the other way. Yeah, so it looked like from here the ball rolled off the first light foot. Oh, it, it, it looked like it rolled off the other guy's foot for me. Here in the game for the ninth ball, number five, Isaac Dobie. 
Oh, Mike Reich rocking baby blazer in here. It's business. <laughs> Here's Mason, ball's deflected, gets it back, or maybe not. Guys, the brother's gonna slide in, Uh-oh, oh, Ooh. Lord, cause he was about to baptize Cooper. Cause he had a full head of steam too. He was coming on the left side of the floor, it was about to get real spooky for Cooper. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, that was gonna be bad. Headphones on the court. Here's Mason Doby, initiating offense here for first flight. He'll fake the handoff great, to Big Brother. Great fake. He about to get to the free throw line. Had it poked out. The thing of it is that you got to pay attention to with Southern Nash. A lot of times when they're driving, I mean, when first flight, first flight is driving, they're looking to make that pass off to the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. They got to pay attention. Down low this will be a bad off. time for Jordan to pick up his third. Yep. Oh. Loose ball pursuit one by first flight. They are so fast when it comes to getting back to the basketball. Mm -hmm. Their recovery is different. No, their team pursuit is at a high level. They're definitely motivated to play here. They just haven't been able to execute since they switched to that zone. Hawk underneath lays it in. Great out of bounds set on the baseline. Listen. For first flight. Coach Chad got them, got them play, he's boy. Yep. Always had. Always. 36, 33 to count, 45.2 left. What were you about to say, Simmons? You don't want to be in a close game with first flight. No, because they're going to execute. They're going to execute. And the thing about first flight is, and the reason why you got to give Coach Chad his flowers is, all five players on the court know what's going on. It's rare that somebody's going to mess up the play mentally for them. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody knows what's going on. They're going, And then the other thing of it is, is they're a team that actually sets screens. Mm -hmm. So because of that, they create opportunities all the time to score. And we see a lot of teams set screens. They don't actually set screens. Yeah, There's absolutely. a difference. No. They run by. Yeah, exactly. Whole lot of slipping, but not actually slipping going on. We got banner issues left and right. You got to fix that with UNC Lenore help one at some point. Here is Jordan Vick. Got a hold for one here with 35 left if you're Southern Nash, right? Yeah. They about to shoot, though. I know. He lost his foot and called for the travel. The zone, the zone jammed them up. Like man to man, they were able to ex exploit them, get to the basket, use their athleticism. You, they went zone do, now. Do you, think and stuff. The, do you think the move is putting Jordan in, Jordan in the middle? I know they're taking him out here so he doesn't pick up that third. Yeah, but, I, but, but honestly, what I what I really think of it is, is I think they can't read the zone. I think it's tough. Like you know, what I'm saying like to read the zone right now because even like the ball's not moving side to side. They call a foul. I wasn't really sure about the call there. Look at you. Hugo coming in. Showing extra effort. I'm, there's been some questionable calls right here. Man. Yeah, there, last, there have been two or three the last few minutes. Last that have been two minutes, eh. Started with the ref under the basket. Um, some questionable stuff. They had the char the block charge down yeah, there. Yeah. It's kind of been for both teams. I think it's been heavily... First flight's probably gotten the benefit more than Southern Nash, but it's definitely impacted both teams. Right. Late sub. But you're letting them reshoot it, though. You shouldn't have given them the ball back. Right. You didn't have to do all that, my man. He's coming in for the shooter. Tough man. At one point, just two minutes ago, it was 34-17. And just like that, first flight is stormed their way back into this ball game. If you're Southern Nash, I would like to call a timeout on this one and probably got Jordan back in the game for a shot. TJ to Gets the cup. Order, no good. Tough. One's off his dome, too. 36-35, Southern Nash hangs on to a one-point lead. They were up 34-17, and then first flight went on a crazy run to end the first half. Got a highly competitive game. We'll be back in 10 minutes. 18-2 eight, run to end the half for first Crazy. Flight. We'll leave you all with that. Sorry about the camera not being quite right. We got it fixed. We're all good. We'll be back with you guys in about the half.
we back. Simmons, Pasta, 36 35, have a very interesting game right now. Southern Nash took the first, first punch from first flight, and then they went on a crazy run themselves. Blew the game out 34 17, but you can't count out my guy, Coach Chad, dialed up the right sets. First flight right back in this thing. Yep. And we're back in action now as Vic's going to pull up from the corner for three, rattled out. Couldn't get it. And here is Mason, Do or Isaac Doby, and here comes Mason with it, trying to give first flight a lead. This has developed into quite a game, Simmons. Now, absolutely. And the thing of it is, is like when it gets to this point, this is where Coach Chad is different. But the defensive plays, the quick hands by Jordan Vic, the quick hands by Southern Nash, when they're engaged defensively, they're really special. No, they, they definitely are. 38-35 right now, shot underneath blocked. Going to stay with first flight. Simmons, I want to ask you, like, what does it mean to have Brandon Ingram attached to this event? I mean, dog, this is the furthest event we've had where that was another great baseline out of bounds. Sorry to switch it up real oh, no, quick. you're good. But, like, to walk into Kinsta High School and see his jerseys out there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to, like, to see that, like, we're – we're we're in a situation where we're the legend. We're mm -hmm. in his city, so to have his name it means everything. You pull up on the side of the road, he got signs out there. It changes it and makes it a really next level event. It was already crazy because the hoop state was on that thing, uh -huh. but now with Bi, like it's undefeated, baby. One hundred percent. Couldn't agree got with something you more. special. I think in the future we could bring teams from. Ain't no telling. Yeah. Just because his name's attached to it. You're you're completely right. And the other thing it's going to do is show other NBA guys how easy it is to kind of get back involved with stuff in their hometown and. Any, if there's any NBA guys out there listening, we're ready to make whatever happen. Doobie, two for a dollar. Crazy. Man. These fans are in for the treat once the heights change clothes well, and they come out here. Well, oh, court. my goodness. I, I'm going to be real. Like, walking in here, and, like, I got here probably around 1130, and there were already hundreds of people in here. And I don't know if there's a, there's a lot of great basketball towns in North Carolina. There really are. I don't know if there's another one that has the same fabric that Kinston does. Absolutely. And, and what we're seeing here today is just a celebration of that. We got great basketball lined up for you guys all day long as Vic gets the rebound. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Vic is locked in right now. He might go for 30, bro. He had another baseline jumper right there. I think he's probably pushing 16 to 18 right now. But Vic is going crazy. Nah, he got to get off the sideline. Good pitch. That will be a timely three if they can hit it. Oh, that's a do. big time shot, and that's what they needed. 43-38. Here comes. Oh, is he dunking that? Nah, he didn't, but it's straight line drive right for two and just a lap. Oh, there. wow, and they threw it away. 4-1 four, four right there. Wow. Just, just not paying attention, man. And lack that's of detail. The, and that's the thing about first flight. That they don't have a lack of detail. They might miss shots, but they're going to be in the gaps and make those plays defensively. As you see, again, another turnover. Uh-oh. Doby for three lead. for the lead. Got it. Can't play around with them boys like that. First flight, letting it fly. 45-43 to count. Here we go. They are hounding. They gotta, the thing that you hate to see with young guys is they, you act like you have all day on the sideline. You don't have all day on the sideline in the baseline. Mm -mm. That's the worst place you could be to just hold the basketball. Mm -hmm. You got to be better than that and reverse it. You got to move it. That's, that's going to be my Simmons segment this week, bro. No cap, bro. Like, I, I, like, this, like thinking what? we have time on the sideline and the baseline. It's like, yo, swing like, the rock, bro. Yes. <laughs> Ball screen right here, you're going to take a look at it. They sent two at him. He'll retreat a little bit, cross over. Now we'll drive baseline, snatch again, step back three. Vic, you can count it. Jordan Vic, put on a show, young fella. Get warm, Jordan Vic. Get warm. Oh, wow. From the parking lot, Doobie. No good. Misses. Next level athleticism. Good pass. Got to finish it. They call a foul, I think. No, they stepped out of bounds. Offensive foul? No, they didn't call a foul. I don't know. No, they just said he stepped out. Mama Vic letting it be known, telling everybody on the team to keep their hands up. <laughs> she ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. Like, you better get out and guard him. Here's Mason Doby, parking lot range. 4.23 to go. Doby, you're up all the way take. to the lane. Lost it on the way up. Yeah. Ball's batted around. Vic gets deflected off his shoulder and goes Is out. Is it me or both teams look tired right now? I think it's some fatigue right here because, like, the main guys from both teams are playing extremely hard on both ends of the floor. Yep. Doobie, get off your forehead. Oh, Ooh. couldn't get it. That was almost good. <laughs> he had a quick trigger on that one. And here's Jordan Vick with the basketball. He pulling up, Miles. He'll give it up right there, down low to Landon. He'll kick it out. Extra pass, Vick, wing three. It is up. 
it is no good. Rebound Cooper Hawk. Here comes Isaac Dovey. He'll pitch it ahead to Mason, who's able to catch and retreat. And now give it up. Nice pass down low to Hawk, right back to Dovey for three. No. And the threes are missing short. See, right now for Southern Nash, this is when you got to dial up a specific set. Let's get the ball moving side to side. Let's have a flash in the middle of the floor. Let's get a, a pass opposite, like a specific set right now. They're sagging with their 3-2 zone, and you got to move the ball and make them pay. That's a settle. It might go in. It's still a settle, though. Mm -hmm. Zai White, I think that's the second three, maybe third of the game, and it's 49-45 first flight, or excuse me, Yo, Southern Nash trailing Hugo first Hugo is really turning into legendary status. He has the chest out. Hugo has the chest out. I mean, that's all Hugo. He's wilding right now at this point. I don't know what's going on. Hugo's getting numbers. <laughs> He's talking to everybody. A hoop state legendary moment right here. Hugo with the chest out. He was sweeping okay. the floor earlier. Now he's sitting behind us in the booth with his shirt off. I mean, the, the kid is a jack of all trades. And Max, we're happy he's with us. Max loves it. Spencer loves it. It's crazy. It's man. crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. crazy right now. What? Brandon Ingram, MLK Classic. It's Hoop State he, he Hugo. Said, Hugo said we're going to dump him out for the boys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a scene. <laughs> I, have, I don't think Webb has any idea. <laughs> he's, he's got it on the stream, too. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, Hugo on the screen with his chest out behind Simmons. It's crazy. Oh my. Spencer, make sure you flip it back, but we're good. <laughs> oh, my God. Hugo, what a clown. What a clown. So his dad, all-time leader in assists at NC State. Hugo, all-time leader in shirts taken off at the Brandon Ingram MLK. Facts. P tomato, tomato. Yes. <laughs> Just put it in the chat. Hugo been out here with his chest out, man. It's crazy. This <laughs> can't explain. It. <laughs> you gotta stop the ball. Gotta get in front. Oh, oh wow! That's stop a big and pop Trey. Got it. One the on the line. Game. I thought the footer was on the line. Uh, they they said it was a three. They called it a three. Um, he he might have been, but hey, they gave him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think there's any replay review. Kick out. Can Zai hit another one? Why not? Why not, Simmons? Confident, man. Real confident. Those are timely shots. Here's Isaac. But see, what, what oh. I think they got to understand oh, is wow. they have to stop guarding him. They have to stop guarding him by putting that token pressure up. A lot of contact, offense. Like that token pressure with them pushing up, like it's allow, allowing Isaac to catch the ball over the top and he's playing downhill. Mm -hmm. So that's Jordan's third foul. So it's late in the third, so. I think he's a guard. I think he's going to be fine, but definitely something to monitor here. You can tell Crump we're still dealing with that foot. You love the sportsmanship to see it right there. You know, they got tangled up number 15, Thomas Copeland, and number four, Ian Crumpler. But in the middle of the play, helps him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Crumpler, no hard feelings. Crumpler's playing still basketball, not, man. Not 100% limping off the floor. Hopefully, he didn't aggravate anything too much, but be interested how much we see him the rest of the day. Still got to get back Thomas to Thomas Copeland trying to slide his feet. He oh, definitely Mr. is. Doobie. Got to talk. Got to have some communication. Isaac, corner That's three. another one. Boom. And first flight Ooh. is showing everyone what they can do back within one. Showed the baby gun. Mm -hmm. So we talked a lot about Mason. Isaac ain't no such either. Big bro with a couple big ones. Deep three. Off the dribble. Up. No good. Rebound. Isaac Doby dealing with some tough pressure. But he's it's, good. it's a tough one for Southern Nash, man. But it's setting up. It's oh. Set, oh, my gosh. It's setting up now, now, now. For the three. It's oh. setting up for first flight to come back. Two, three is greater than two the last time I checked. Fact. Doby with another one. What a block from Victor. They just couldn't secure the ball. Two-point lead for first flight. Got to continue to move if you're Jordan. Three, no. Yeah, they're just settling right now, nah, they, man. They, they, they've kind of stalled a little bit, and first flight's looking to pounce. And the Doobie Brothers are warm. Isaac Another one. For three. Up. No good. Battle for the rebound. Two teammates collide. And here comes Jordan Vick with numbers. What's Vick going to do? Stop and pop Trey. Up. No good. Rebound secured by Doby. He's dealing with some pressure. And they foul him. Be careful. I think he got took a, I think he took an incidental shot to the face on the way down. Yeah. But not in, you know, you don't want to rack him up. But first flight. 
just forcing forcing Southern Nash to take jump shots and they're not connecting right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Miles. First flight is not even forcing them. No, they're just settling. Yeah, they don't have like right now their zone offense, zone continuity is really off. Mm -hmm. And the off ball movement's not there. Yeah, they're only passing it a couple of times and the guys up top is like, well, he's giving me giving me space and they're looking to shoot it. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going on. And I think this pressure now the Doobie Brothers, that's how they get into the paint. Like, what a finish it's, it's, from Mason. it's all this pressure for no reason. Instead of getting back and just playing them straight up. Mm -hmm. And that's giving them points. And the thing of it is, is now with first flight with a lead going into the fourth, it's very tough. Definitely. They need that basket. And, uh, uh -oh. miss it, and now they're pushing up. It's another layup. It's another layup. Yep. 58-52. First flight turning defense into offense. And they're in control as we head into the fourth. They were down 34 to 17, and now they lead 58-52. Three up, no good, and they're playing right into their hands, Simmons. I don't understand what's going on. And one. The fella gets rewarded. Number 30, Kendrick Pierce, has been. And a then they just threw the ball out, almost getting a tech from the referee. And it's they're, they're having a meltdown right now, man. But it's if you really break it down, is. The zone offense, they're just selling and jacking shots. Then when you put that on top of the, the pressure, they're pressuring the ball and they're getting beat. So you need to drop back and guard three-quarter or a half court. Mm -hmm. And then now they're just giving up layups on the other end. And you got first flight going with a 10-point lead, maybe more, into the, uh, into the fourth. Yeah, here's Hawk with it. Out to Isaac. He thought about it. He'll attack. Step back three. Isaac, Doby. Oh, no good. Rebound Vic, and he's got some time to narrow the deficit. He's got 15 seconds. He's weaving through. A lot of pressure on him. Lost it. Who's got it? Zai White's got it. Down low. Shot up. Foul. Hawk fouled him. With 7.3 on the clock. And Southern Nash is going to go to the line right here. Yeah. I think it's going to be Leo Jones. Jordan got to slow down and read the floor. Mm -hmm. He has to understand how to use his burst. Yep. That's what's going on right now. He used, It's almost like... He's using his burst so much that now sometimes when he needs it, you can tell he's fatigued. Mm -hmm. Like, we can't say that he's not playing hard. He's, he's had a great game mm -hmm. on both sides of the ball, doing everything he can for Southern Nash. But now in these runs, you got to play in burst so you have enough energy mm -hmm. to finish out the game. Yep. 7.3 left. The first free throw was no good from Leo Jones. We'll see if he can connect on one more. And we know first fight's going to try to get down the court real quick and launch some shots. Here comes Mason. Clock never started. Now, even the situation like that. Uh, so what's 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 what we got going on? I would set it back to the original and just have him run it back, right? Right. I so I would just go back and have it at seven point six or seven point three or whatever it was. Six seconds from half court. That seems like a. That's a stream. They about to get sprayed. They just set them up for spray right here. Here's Isaac. Fakes the handoff all Told the way. You. Let me get that man. That's easy work. Chad Williams absolutely loves this right now. Absolutely loves it. The Doobie Brothers are putting on a show. The Doobie Brothers. Easy to say Doobie. Shout out to the band. 62 to 53. Oh, it's Doobie. It's Doobie, not Doobie. But yeah, yeah, yeah no. Doobie do. It's easy to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, regardless, whether it's Doobie or Dobie, they're killing right now, and right. they're up 62-53. Simmons, what's your breakdown right now? It's tough, man, because Southern Nash shot himself in the foot. Um, Southern Nash settled. Mm -hmm. um, I think towards the end of the first half, that Coach Chad saw that the zone would be the fix. Mm -hmm. Go would be the thing to even the game out, and it was. Um, they're not comfortable playing against uh, playing in uh, playing against the Southern Nash. Mm -hmm. So as far as moving the ball side to side and cutting through is kind of foreign to them, and that has single-handedly led to this run. The, uh, the Doby brothers came out in the third quarter, and they bashed the gas, like getting to the basket, hitting threes, mm -hmm. creating turnovers. It just seemed like that they had they had the first hand or the first step on every play in the third quarter, and then now you got them going up nine. I think their confidence is through the roof, mm -hmm. and I don't see them taking their foot off the gas. Like, 
Honestly, no, they, they could taste a big win here. I, I think they could push this out. Now, at the end of the day, you got one of the most dangerous players in the state in Jordan Vick, and defensively, they're capable of turning them over. But we're going to see because all the momentum was with first flight right now. Absolutely. Here's Mason, gives it up to Isaac. They're going to work it around. It's Pierce. Pierce, nice cut, lay in, count it. Vick got the goal then. Another yeah. great set from first flight. First flight basket, number five. Here's Vic, dealing with that zone. Looks like a, I think it's, I think it's a 2-3, two, 3-2. Three, three, two. It's kind of. Yeah, they're on that 1-2-2 two, two now. Mm -hmm. I mean, the pass is, the, the, the proper pass is, is to, to, to play it in the middle, but they just won't throw it to the middle. Like, he's he's open. Yeah, he's there. Cross court. I understand that. He's, he's in the middle. That's mm -hmm. going to make them converge. Now you have the wide open look. Vic, a little pump fake. Long two, pulls up, couldn't get it. Rebound, Isaac Doby. Another stop for first flight. Here they go. Isaac drives all the way. Tough That's shot. Tough. Couldn't get it. Cooper Hawk underneath. Clean up duty. Yes, sir. Man, just so solid for that team, man. Yeah, man. And now they got a set defense, and it's tough for Southern Nash, man. Mm -hmm. Jordan Vick, rip drive in the corner. Tough Gets one. to the cup, and one. That's a big Not bucket. a lot of space. Quick move. That's a timely one that his team needed. He's got a free throw here to get it back within 10. Still a lot of time for them to work with, 6.50 left. But like you said earlier, Simmons, when you gave the quarter breakdown, they gotta get it going now. They just gotta get stops. That's the biggest thing. They're not They're not getting stops right now at all. But let's see if Vic can connect on the free throw. It is up and good. Lane violation. Lane violation on his teammate. Oh. Here's 66-55. That was a good, that's good defense. Create a turnover. Now the thing of it is you got to push your ball back down court. You got to come with good offense. Yep. Another, if, you're, if you're Southern Nash, you need four stops. My fault, Paul. No, I was going to say, one thing to note, it's a dead ball turnover. So they do get to set their zone back up, which, as we see here in the second half, has been a huge factor. Thanks. Vic Ooh. is letting him shoot it. It is up. Into yes, it. that was, what are you doing? You backing up? What's wrong with y'all? 66-58. No. Back within eight. They get it to Hawk. Deflected. Oh, that was a steal they needed. Doobie, sniper. Couldn't get it. Hawk uh, underneath. Okay, Cooper. Oh, that's tough. Yep. But that's my dog, Coop, so I can't even hate because that's my <laughs> dog. I love Coop. Some of, the, some of the best hair in the business, baby. Oh, my goodness. Sunshine, baby. You love to see it. Last time I seen you locks like that, it was from my dog, Jay. Do snake. <laughs> you, you know, remember the kid that uh, played it with Sach, Caleb Lohner? I don't remember him. You got to show me a picture of him. Okay, he's he's got a whole lot of Caleb Lohner going on. Oh, wow. Oh, got to get that. They got a hand on it. Watch the charge. It's and one. Good call, Mr. Ref. Good call. <laughs> Yo, dog. <laughs> Come on, Hugo. Don Come said, on, son. Don said, why is he shirtless low? Is it hot? Yo, dog. Legend. Yo. <laughs> I told him, bro. When this nip's out, Rod, Rod's losing it. He's like, what's going on? Hugo. I told y'all, bro. Straight up. Hugo go is behind me on the stream with the hoops out, bro. <laughs> he loves it, see it. Hoop steak, man. Nothing like it. You ain't going to get this with any <laughs> anything else, man. No. Anything no, sir. else. Oh, man. The oh. team's strong. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. 66-59 now, uh, Southern Nash narrowing it down a little bit. Oh, it's a turnover. It's a turnover. That's the key. Yep, and here comes Vic again with a head of steam. What's he got? Uh, push cross, yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's, that's a crazy that's, call. That's a crazy call. I that's think I thought that was a no call. Either a no call or a shooting foul. That's tough. Now what I will that's what I fourth. what I will what I will tell him is though, is on that one, when he makes that push cross, he has to really use that Chris Paul push cross and survey the space. That's why it's so important to get to two feet. Here's Vic on another turnover. Pull up. 
Stop and pop triple, like you said, Simmons. Couldn't get it. Rebound. Pierce skies for it. That was a big rebound in traffic. Here's oh. Oh. Ooh. And one. I thought he was about to go up and try to spike it. He was. Honest. Doobie, number one, Doobie was going to punch that. Okay? I mean, Doobie was going to punch that. The crazy part of it is, is I absolutely agree with that call. Yeah. Like, I can't hate. He was late, mm -hmm. and that was a great job by Doobie. That, 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 that one hurt. That response hurt. Yeah, that's a big bucket. Especially if he's able to connect on the free throw, which he is. 69-59. 5.33 left. Here comes Southern Nash. Can they get it going? Thought about it. Work it back. Down low. Oh, Landon. Landon. Cooper. Cooper, Here. good job. Yep, just maintained his presence down yeah. low. Discouraging the shot. 69-59. Here's Isaac again. Stop oh, that pop hurt, for boy. Three. Oh. oh, no good. And Jordan now Vic, that was his athletic play. Mm -hmm. Got to watch the charge. Oh, that change of pace, reverse. Oh, Ooh, you Couldn't can't get, miss that. Get it. You can't miss that, baby. <laughs> you can't stop with a dime and miss that. <laughs> Here's Hawk, turnover. Got yeah. Cooper cookies. Oh, oh, missed the dunk. You can tell that was a bad angle. Yep, and a steal. Here's Mason, driving. Has guys behind him. Timeout called by yeah, Chad. Yeah, you can tell. That, that was a bad angle to dunk with two. That one, because, like, that's the angle you slip and fall off the rim, yeah. to be honest. And we saw Tybo do the other Mind day. you, let me tell you a uh, crazy story. One of my top five embarrassing moments. Oh, so no. we're at Cardinal Gibbons, sophomore in college. Little hoop, little hoop session. That's a pickup session. Right. Old Cardinal Gibbons or new Cardinal Gibbons? New Cardinal Gibbons. Some ladies in there. Simmons feeling bouncy. No. Simmons feeling bouncy. Go up for the kaboom. Try to dunk it. Slip off the rim. The, 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 the five second drop, all I see is hardwood on the way down. Follow my whole arm and shoulder. Try to jump back up. Bro, I was sore for like five days. Like, embarrassing. I'm talking about like, I'm talking, that was my summer crush too. And the only oh. thing she remembers of Simmons is, is falling face first off the rim, bro. Eating you know what. Yes, bro. Didn't see none of the booms before that. Slipped off the rim. Whoa. Bam. Bam. That was rough. Was that, is that a top like three all-time humbling experiences for you? Yes, because I really almost died. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. I almost lost my life. I feel like at that moment you would have almost rather you did. Bro, it was, <laughs> oof. <laughs> like, I mean, because, like, to, to be honest, that day it didn't hurt. The next morning, oh. it felt like I had been hit by Von Miller in his prime, bro. <laughs> like, the whole right side of my body, like, had a little bruise. It was crazy. Oh, I bet it was bad news. All right, let's see what first fight can get right here. Up by 10, 435 left. Cheesecakes? I got to have a piece. <laughs> Here's Mason with it. Ooh. Oh. Dobie. Nah. Dobie. Nah. Dobie, yo. Oh, yo. my goodness. From the freshman. The razzle dazzle. From high level young hoops. Mason, baby. Coach Chad said he was the guy. He is, man. He is. I'll tell you what, Dylan Blake and Jack Costanza are somewhere smiling right now. Looking at this kid. Jordan High as well. I don't know what it is about Kill Devil Hills, Duck, that whole area. There's some unique basketball talent out there that Chad Williams has fostered. And that was a special move. Absolutely. But honestly, I'm going to be for real. Them boys, these boys are putting up a show. Mm -hmm. And how much do you think for a lot of these guys, especially some of the older veteran guys, like playing in those showcases over the last few years with Dylan on the team, even though they may, they may not have not been playing bigger roles, how much do you think it helps kind of prepare them to come into an environment like this and perform the way that they have today? Honestly, Paz, I think that was a great point, and I think 100. Mm -hmm. I think 100 because... The difference of it is when we go to first flight, it's changing the culture. Mm -hmm. Like, first flight is a place now where kids are outside dribbling and shooting to want to become that next that next at one to flight. play in this showcase at first flight. That's the culture Coach Chad has created. And even with home games, like, I told you one of the best things about going to the first flight event, oh, George's ankle. One of the best things about going to the first flight event was just seeing the kids that were, like, that were locals in that town Talk about the Ellis brothers. Talk about, you know, word of God. Talk about they knew our event mm -hmm. coming in there. So just being a fly on the wall, you could tell the culture's changed, and mm -hmm. it's a special place. 1,000%. Here's Doby struggling with it, finds a way to get it to Mason. 
Mason down low, Cooper lays it in. Yes, Mason Doby is showing Kinston what he's made of. Yeah. 74-59, three up, no good. Rebound, good box out from Isaac, and he gets it right back. Isaac Doby, three and change to go, team up 15. First flight has come to Kinston and delivered. I know Chad said he wanted to put 120 up. They're going to fall short of that, but he'll take the win, I'm sure. It's crazy because it's the effort. They came back. like They had got punched they in, the in the mouth. They looked dead in the water. They got punched in the mouth. Think about it like this. 34 to 17. Since then, it's been it's just been a throttling from first flight. And see, now here comes the backdoor cuss. And this is Coach Chad being Coach Chad. At some point, Cooper's going to dive to the basket and catch a wide open layup, bro. Mm -hmm. He's just chilling. It's only a matter of time for Cooper to dive and get a layup. Just here you go. He about to dive. He about to slip it real soon. Mm -hmm. Layup. You can see it. You love, like, here it is. There you go. Not nah, pass it back out. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. This is real basketball, baby. Mm -hmm. No shot clock. Look, we, we all talk about it all the time, how much we want a shot clock. I will never hold it against a coach for holding the ball, ever. Take advantage of the rules you're playing with. And that's, this situation, Chad said, we're up 15, no need to rush. Let's take a minute off the clock, and that's exactly what they've done right here. They go to the free throw line. It's crazy because these are things that break your back, and it's like you don't see this as often as, as I did when I played, but mm -hmm. this is the way you end the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. You're aggressive the whole time. They give you a layup. You take it, whether it's on a drive or a cut. But this is the way you end basketball mm -hmm. games. I mean, you take time off the clock, you make free throws. Yep. Couldn't make that one there, though. And here comes Southern Nash. Going to try to get something here. Give it out to Vic. He'll launch the three. Air it ball. No good. Missed you got short. a hand on that. Yeah, that was a good contest there from, looked like Mason. It was. And now here's Isaac with it. Minute 50 left. And they're going to bring it up. This place is already packed. Yeah. There's still some seats left. But I'll just tell you now. If you're watching, you're like, I'm coming later, get here now. The crazy part of it is about this game, though, that you really saw, if Southern Nash would have kept the pressure on, like, they would have been okay. Like, first flight has thrown the ball away every time when yeah, they, Southern Nash has kept it over the pressure. A lot. But, like, they just couldn't get it. They just couldn't get it right. I think a big part of it, too, is a, a, a real – we're going to look at the offensive rebounding numbers for this game for first flight and probably right. be like, wow. They probably had 10 or ten or 12 offensive rebounds in this Honestly, game. Honestly, bro, the last, the, the last two games I've done, that's what it's been. Like, the performance Greenfield put on the glass, bro. Mm -hmm. Aaron and Hampton down low. Bro, they had 18 offensives in the first half. Oh, my God. It was – like, bro, they, they beat them off toughness and, 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 and offensive rebound. Like, it was second-chance points. To keep it a band, Wilson Prep held in the under 60. Mm-hmm. Deep three up, table or no. Rebound secured. And here comes Isaac, pitch ahead to Mason. Southern Nash, number 15, Thomas Copeland. And then I think the other thing of it was that there was a couple times where when they got hot, the matchup switched up between the Dobies and Vic. Mm -hmm. Like, when Vic was matched up against either one of them, it was pretty quiet. It was pretty solid. Yeah. But they were able to take it. They were able to create. Yeah, like, when it was him, when the, the primary defenders was him and TJ Tabor, they did a pretty good job. But as the game went on, and Isaac and them were able to get different matchups, they really took advantage well, and, of them. And I'm sure that was by design, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, Pasta. Uh, yeah, you know, that's, uh, you said it, there, there aren't many better signal callers in the state what? Than, than Chad, man. Bro, listen. Dog, that's the hey, that's, that's, that's 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 OG. Yeah. Okay. And NC, he he's my Jimmy Bay. <laughs> NC baby. <laughs> Coach Chad with the old swag. He never he ain't biting his tongue. Mm -hmm. And his boys gonna do what they do. That Jimmy B showing up with the two threes on side step. We in the gym with that. Oh, <laughs> missed that thing. We in the gym with that on the regular. I don't even know why Mr. Twenty One is chatting because chatting like that, Vic could get that money. Mm -hmm. So you need to keep it keep that relaxed. <laughs> 45 seconds, it looks like they're just gonna hold it for first flight, man. What an effort from the boys from the Outer Banks. Coming to Kinston, trying to get a win. That's exactly what they did up 75-59. The clock is ticking. We're at 25 seconds here, it's gonna run out. 
as Mason Doby will dribble it out. Simmons, final thoughts on this one, my man. Final thoughts is I got to go ahead and find my seat. Can five about the blow up in 16 seconds, my man. <laughs> Dimmy me <Ryu>, you. Yeah. <laughs> That's my final thoughts. But, nah, uh, I tip my hat off to both teams. Southern Nash, Jordan Vic, heck of a performance. Put on the show. But my dog, Coach Chad, I mean, another signature win. Came in here, the energy was there for his first flight, boys. He's in a whole nother city, two hours away. And the culture travels, 75-59 win. Brandon Ingram, MLK Showcase, five booting up, man. I'm out. We'll see y'all soon.